Hey guys, um, just want to make another video and hopefully you'll understand where I'm coming from. <clears throat> but anyway, today we had, uh, in our neighborhood, we had some people going around and distributing flyers, uh, door hangers, and stuff like that. And <clears throat> one of the things that they were trying to basically get people to do is to support a countywide vote and get the public support behind uh, the local firefighters. Now, I'm not going to say where it is or even give you an idea of what this resolution is called, but <clears throat> basically it's a backdoor federal incursion into the local fire department. And when you see stuff like this going on, you have to really look at the wording. You know, they, they uh, tried to do public relations and they insisted on their value as a local fire department. But the word that you need to key in on, let's say if this same thing is happening in your own locality, is that they are being told that uh, and they're 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 taking the mantle of uh, authority when it comes to preventing civil unrest as far as I'm concerned a fire fighting department EMS um, that's not their job now some would argue that the police have a stake in that that that's part of their job is to prevent civil unrest but I'm here to tell you that I disagree with that kind of thing, simply because it's the citizen's duty to prevent civil unrest. We've seen it before um, on numerous occasions, and if any of you know the situation with Ferguson, Missouri, you'll notice that <clears throat> it was a concerted effort of both keepers and other concerned citizens who volunteered their time with their own firearms to post guard over shops to prevent vandalism. And uh, so this was the citizens effort. It, it wasn't the local police department. It wasn't the local fire department. In many cases, they were stretched so thin that they couldn't even do anything about some of the stuff. <clears throat> but uh, what does all that mean? Why do they assume that they have this mantle of authority when it comes to civil unrest? It's because the federal government is telling them that's their duty when it's not. They don't prevent anything. They show up after the fact. And in many cases, the federal government foments civil unrest uh, and are funded by very wealthy uh, kleptocrats who pose as humanitarians, who pose as philanthropists, and that they dump all this money into groups that do exactly the opposite that actually want civil unrest. And uh, so you have to key in on that phraseology right there that that's, that's just not their job, you know. Um, they, they have no control over that. Very little control. So... Um, but but what is it what does it really mean? Why why would they include that in their reasons why they need to be funded better and why you would need to vote on a resolution? The reason why they're doing that is because the federal government wants to have more inroads to controlling the local EMS. And the way they do that is they introduce a new tax or they introduce federal funding they kind of dangle it in front of them like a carrot say well you're going to get all this training you're going to get this money from the equipment and such and such you'll be better equipped to handle disasters and whatnot and to counterbalance that the departments come up with these ideas that they try to sell to the public such as new taxes and increase on property tax or whatnot and uh, I don't like it because 
all that's going to do is usher in more federal involvement and more federal control. So be very careful what you vote for in your local um, elections because they oftentimes put hidden agendas within these resolutions. Um, but that's all I have to say about that and be on the lookout for things like this happening in your own neighborhoods because while it may sound good on the surface it's just another way of more control and that's all I have to say about that so thanks a lot